saying, I don't know exactly where it came from, it said when you're pointing your finger at somebody, you got four yes. or three pointing yeah. back at you. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. The Bible says, judge not that you be not judged. Amen. Because it says what judgment you deal out is going to be dealt back to you. Right. Amen. None of us are perfect. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. No doubt about that. And you can't clean the fish till you get them in the boat. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the Lord do the cleaning up right. once you get them caught. Amen. Right. I've been fishing a lot of times, and I cleaned a lot of fish with the bill. Yeah. But I never was able to get the fish clean unless I caught the fish first. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So let's catch some fish. Amen. Yeah. And then let's let the master fisherman do the cleaning up. Amen. Yeah. That's it. Hallelujah. And he will. Amen. 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 Through his word. All right. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible with you this morning, turn it to Romans, the 8th chapter. I want you to look at something. <clears throat> something we looked at last week. I'm trying to share a Scripture with you, which I'm sure you've heard all your life, but that is so real to me that there have been times in my journey, in my walk with the Lord, that this Scripture is what got me through. And I know we can do the same thing for you today. Romans 8 and 28. The Bible says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to His purpose. I want you to say that with me again. And we know. Let's stop there for a minute. And we know. We're supposed to. Amen. Amen. I'll throw that in there. That's We're right. supposed to know. That's right. Paul had learned. Amen. That's it. He said he had learned to be content. Right. Did you know you have to learn that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. He don't just jump on your back one day and all of a sudden you're satisfied no matter where you're at. Yeah. He had to learn it. Yeah. Amen. He had to be taught. Yeah. There's right. some lessons in life that will teach you some things if you allow it. Amen. Amen. Will teach you some things. Come on. And we know. Now let's pick it up. That all things, y'all supposed to be saying it with me, that all things, let's stop right there. Now does that leave any room for anything? Somebody say all things. All things. That doesn't leave much room for any error, does it? Amen. All things. He didn't say some things. Sister Nancy, I know you don't understand this. I don't understand this. I don't have to understand this. <laughs> we don't need to understand. We just need to hold His hand. Amen. Hell, I don't have to understand what tomorrow holds. I just got to understand who holds tomorrow. Amen. 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 Say it. I don't have to understand what tomorrow holds. I just got to understand who holds my tomorrow. Amen. All things. Now, what's it say about these all things? They're going to destroy me. That ain't what it says. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to His purpose. Going to work for your good, Sister Nancy. Somebody scratch your head and say, huh? Amen? Scratch your hair and scratch where it used to be and say, huh? Amen? Huh? All things were all things ain't gonna destroy me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know you think they are. A lot of times we think they are. Things are gonna these things are gonna kill me. No, they ain't. They're gonna work together for your good. If you can get a bulldog grip on the word of God and stand on his promises this morning, amen. Standing on the promises of Christ our King, amen. I don't know the rest of it or I would sing. All right. That's good enough. <laughs> Standing on the promises of God. And live. Hallelujah. Standing on the promises of God. Right. You see, there's we're gonna start pretty soon, we're fixing to preach on God's promises. All right. And not just the promises that he made to Abraham, but the promises that he made to you. This is a personal thing, Brother Sleece. This ain't where you read some kind of story from a thousand years ago where somebody had an experience with God. No, my Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for you. It's profitable for you. This is a personal thing. This is a letter He wrote to you personally. Amen. He wrote it to you personally. How many people ever got a letter? Somebody wrote it just to you. Amen. Make you feel good. Sometimes, you know, when you're facing a battle and things ain't been going good and you 
your printer's broke and your tars are flat and everything's going on, you go to the mailbox and you pull out a letter that's wrote to you just especially for you. You know that somebody took the time to sit down and write you a letter because they was thinking about you, praying about you, because they was loving you. Amen? Oh, that does more for me than some of the offers that we've got before. Amen? Go to the mailbox and pull out a little letter from a little widow woman. Amen? All right. And she said, I'm praying for you. You're a blessing to me. Yeah. Whew. My goodness, you talking about being able to tie a knot in the devil's tail. That kind of, those kind of letters fire you up. Amen? All right. Preaching. This letter was wrote to you. Uh -huh. Amen? Well, God don't love me. He never talks to me. He talks to you. Right. From Genesis to Revelation. Right. You just ain't listening. Come on. Amen. You ain't reading it. Come on. He wrote you a letter. Yeah. And He's telling you today in Romans 8 and 28 that all right. things work together for your good. Yeah. How many people in here love the Lord? Amen. Amen. Well, I, I guarantee you're called because oh. He says, He says that let whosoever will, let them come. come. See, that calling goes out from the throne today, Brother Bill, to every man, every woman, yeah. every child, every boy, every girl. Amen. Yeah. Whosoever will, let him come to the river of life. Amen. Freely. Yeah. God's calling you today. Amen. You've been called according to His purpose. Amen. And everything's going to work together for good, not so that not the way that you might think it needs to work out, but according to His purpose, Amen. His will for your life. Amen. Amen. That's right. Trials don't come to destroy you. That's Trials right. come to make you stronger. Amen. Come on. And when it seems like you can't go on any longer, Amen. Yeah. You just throw up your hand and say, "Lord, make me grateful. Right. Jesus, make me faithful. Take this complaining from my heart. Give me more gratitude. Help." Me with my attitude Amen. through love and grace, we'll find a brand new start. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All things work together. Yes. Amen. All things. Yes. Work to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some business cards printed up with this scripture on there. Right. So you can stick it in your billfold. Come and on. the next time everything's going haywire, I want you to get your billfold out, look at that card, and quote it to the enemy. Quote it to yourself. Amen. Quote it to yourself. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. All things. Yeah. All things work together. That means all the things you don't like. Praise the Lord. All the things you don't understand. Yeah. Amen. Last week we talked about the valley. Right. Amen. And we learned how over there in 1 Kings, the 20th chapter, mm -hmm. that there were some enemies of God's people, Brother Bill. Yeah. I don't think he was here, would you? Some enemies of God's people yeah. who went to their king and said, listen, the Israelite's God, he's God of the hills. Yeah. All right. But he ain't God of the valley. Yeah. They said if we can get them in the valley, if we can take the fight to them in the valley, yeah. I'll just give you a little review. Mm -hmm. If we can take the fight to them in the valley, we can defeat them. Yeah. Because their God is not the God of the valley. Yeah. He's only the God of the mountain. <laughs> and I told you last week that this enemy believed that if he could get God's people there, mm -hmm. they could defeat him because they did, the enemy did not believe that God was God of the valley. I told you that your enemy believes that today. Believes that if he can get you in the valley, he can defeat you there. Sister Nancy, not because he don't believe God's the God of the valley, but because he ain't sure you do. All right. Do you hear that, Brother Peter? That's it. That's good. See, he's lost enough battles in the valley. He knows God's the God of the valley. Yeah. Amen. Right. <laughs> he's had enough of his giant heads cut off in the valley. He knows that God is God of the valley. Yeah. But he ain't too sure Sister Nancy knows it. Yeah. He ain't too sure that Brother Billy knows him. Why? Because last time I was in the valley, I didn't act like him. Oh, come on. Amen. Because last time I was in the valley, he seen how I acted, and he ain't sure I'm convinced that my God that I serve on the mountain is still God in the valley. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He ain't sure I'm convinced. He ain't too sure I'm convinced. So he thinks if he can get me in the valley, he can whip me. Yeah. Amen? And that's what these people thought. But God told them, let me read that part of it, and i got to move on. i got something else for you this morning. All right. It says in 1 Kings 20 and 28, this was God's response to that, Brother Bill. 1 Kings 20 and 28. There came a man of God and spake unto the king of Israel and said, Thus saith the Lord, because the Syrians have said the Lord is God of the hills, 
but He is not God of the valleys. Yeah. Therefore, see, He's saying because of this, I will deliver all this great multitude into thine hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Absolutely. Not just of the valley. I mean, not just of the mountain, but of the valley. True. Not just of the valley, but of the mountain. Amen. Amen. All of it. Yes, sir. And we talked last week about the valley of the shadow of death. Right. And we related that to how that there have been times we felt like we've been there. Yeah. Amen. Come on. And Sister Nancy, we talked last week about the valley of decision. Come on. And how that many times we're in the valley of the decision and the devil feels yeah. that he's got an advantage on us there. Come on. We learn that that word decision means a threshing. Yeah. I did a little more digging this week. It also means as if someone was panning for gold. Have you ever seen them do that? They'll take the pan, you know, with all the small holes in the bottom, they'll put it in the creek, and they'll do like this right here. Yeah. They'll shake it. Brother David said, I think it was last Sunday, sifting. Amen. Right. Looking, you know, to see if they find that. If the devil can get you in that place where you feel like you're being, you feel like you're being sifted. Right. You feel like you're being shook. You feel like you're being gone through. Amen. Oh, you feel right. like you've been through the ringer. Yeah. He feels like he can get you. Amen. Amen. That's it. And we talked about the valley of Baca, which means the valley of weeping. Yes, oh, how many people have ever been there? Amen. How many people have ever been in that place where you thought that weeping wasn't just going to endure for a night, but for the rest of your life? Amen. Yes, you felt like that you didn't have no more joy. You couldn't find no joy. As hard as you looked for it, there wasn't no joy to be found because you were in the valley of weeping. Amen. That's it. My goodness. Okay. We talked about the valley of Ono. Right. And we learned how that, that word Ono means compromise mm -hmm. to a certain degree. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To compromise. We learned how that Nehemiah's enemies wanted him to come down off of the wall so that they could get him out there and reason with him and get him to compromise. If the devil can get you in the valley of compromise, see you missed it last week, folks out there, if you didn't hear it. Go back and listen to it. The valley of compromise. If he can get you to give up there, if he can get you to sell out in the valley of compromise. Amen. So we learn about all these valleys. And we learn how the enemy believes he can use those things. Come on. Oh, but honey, I tell you what. We're going to see today that there are things in the valley you ain't going to get nowhere else. All right. Good things. Amen. Somebody say good things. Praise Hallelujah. Praise my, 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 my. Praise the Lord. David said in Psalms, the 23rd chapter, and historians will tell you that at the time that David wrote this, and you can quote it by heart, the time that David, the, the time that David wrote this, he was hiding in a cave. He was on the run from King Saul. Yeah. Well, you're talking about a trial. Amen. Talking about a valley. Right. We're talking about a man who had got a glimpse of God's heart and nothing else was going to satisfy him. Amen. He was a man that was hungry after the heart of God. Amen. He was thirsty for God. Well, we could use some of them today. Amen. Right. We, well, we got them money hungry. That's right. Oh, we got them sex hungry. Amen. Yeah. Oh, we got them power hungry. We got them fame hungry, popularity hungry. We can use some old fashioned people. Hallelujah. Give me some grannies with the with the with the with the bun on their head and the long skirt. Amen. The long dress. If they got a hunger for God, fill the church full of them, Lord. Yeah. Give me somebody that's hungry for God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Give me somebody that's hungry for God. Amen. That's the way David was. Yes, he's the only man that God ever spoke in this manner said he's a man yep. after the very heart of God. He's a man after All my own right. heart. He's a man after my own heart. Right. And we find him writing about the valley. He says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yeah. Now this didn't mean that he was always going to get everything his flesh wanted. Right. What he meant, Brother Sleece, is the Lord is my shepherd. This, 